My name is Stephanie McReynolds, and I head the marketing team here at Alation. Alation was really founded on the notion that analytics can change the world, but getting to that point of changing the world can be complicated because of the systems that we have in place and the complications of humans. Maybe this problem of finding data, even in the most advanced organization where you had an IT team of 100, was still super complicated. How do we reduce that complexity so that we can get to the promise of insight impacting change? So the Enterprise Data Catalog became our first product from that vision. We are a software as a service subscription model. And I think our annual recurring revenue growth over the last year of 291% has shown that we've been able to drive significant value for those customers and bought ourselves an opportunity for the future. We connect to um, databases, we connect to file systems, and we also connect to data visualization or business intelligence tools. So a, a technology partnering as well as um, integration partnering is important to us. Every business user, every analyst, every data scientist is producing their own data visualizations and their own analytics and sometimes their own algorithms. And while that is an amazing blossoming of opportunity in our organizations to find insight, there also is a strain on organizations as well as on our technology. With the growth of big data, what's happened is that our data supply chains are overproducing. They're overproducing visualizations, they're overproducing raw data, whether in tables or file structures or now in the cloud. Supply chains are pushing chocolate through that processing line. And as a business consumer of data, I'm trying to figure out how to capture all of those data sets that are being produced and sometimes feeling like I'm failing miserably. But in all reality, almost every organization that we talk to describes an environment where they're struggling. They're either struggling to find their data in all of the raw tables and file structures that they've now stored. They're struggling with a variety of processing engines and not really understanding how the data is being transformed before it gets into consumers' hands. And they're struggling with trust enterprises are beginning to make a strategic investment in a C-level individual to help sort through this challenge. About 53% of enterprises and 46% of small medium businesses now have a chief data officer in place. The gap in return on investment of their analytical infrastructure is mostly a business adoption challenge. The first thing that CDOs are thinking about is how do they change the, the culture to accept analytics? We think a lot about how to assist not just the chief data officer or chief analytic officer or chief data scientist, but really any analytic leader. How do we assist them in organizing to create a new culture around data and, and analysis and really measure how analytics are being used in the organization? Are there gaps or bottlenecks in the availability of, of data to consume and in the ability to really, in, a, in an agile way, govern? And then the, the third pillar of organizational change is the need to start to really focus on the value of the data under management so that you can move more into a world of managing data as an asset. Data catalogs have become one of the critical resources for analytic leaders as they take on this transformational change. I think the better news beyond um, just customer growth is how customers are, are seeing value. So productivity impact is somewhere between 20 and 40% improvement. So I've been talking a lot about the data catalog. What, what is it? How does it work? And what we believe is really important about a data catalog is that it is a living inventory of your data assets. It is something that is really developed through this iterative process of self-service analytics. It is tightly tied to the capability to observe what questions data consumers are asking of the data. And so data catalogs are, are most impactful when they can connect to not only where the data is stored, but also where it's processed and understand transformation and connect as well to the visualization layer or the business intelligence layer where end users actually interacting with the data. 
The last year has also been tremendously exciting. We're now up to over 90 production implementations in our, our customer base. We're really seeing a wide variety of organizations adopt a data catalog as part of their enterprise architecture.